So as you can see behind me, I have four keyboards. Um, probably the first thing you will notice is that the colors of the keys are reversed. So whereas you might normally see white keys on a piano, um, here I have black keys. It's just sort of a, a, a fashion thing. It, it looks a little bit more historical. You might see older harpsichords have this same arrangement of the keys. But my C is in the same place, my D is in the same place. I don't have to learn a new set of notes. So I have four keyboards, and we call them manuals on the organ because we play them with our hands. Um, down below, I have another um, effectively keyboard for the feet. We call it the pedal board. And so the reason we have so many is we can set up different sounds in different places. So if I want to have a trumpet sound, I can put that on this keyboard here. Uh, and if I want perhaps to have a bassoon sound, I can put it on the next one up. Uh, if I want my very brightest, bright, tinkly sound, I have that right on the very top keyboard up here. And then I have a kind of a, a Renaissance crumb horn sound down the bottom. So each one can have its own family of sounds. We can also couple them together to make the biggest noise out of the organ. I have a, a separate set of controls along the top here um, that allow me to couple the keyboards together. Um, incidentally, we call these and the buttons at the side the stops. So on the very first organs, uh, about a thousand years ago, um, all of the sounds spoke at the same time. The instrument wasn't as big as this, obviously, but then someone invented a way that you could turn off some of the sounds, so these became stops. But in fact, on the modern organ, you need to use the stops to start the sound, so it's almost the reverse. If I pull one out, it starts the uh, particular sound. So the stops control these different colors, uh, and we can put colors in different places, couple them together to make the most volume.